My name is Prue LaRue and today we've got three looks one palette with the Anastasia Beverly Hills times Alyssa Edwards palette. I've been excited to finally have this this video done. I feel like I bought this palette so long ago and yeah. I've made two other videos on this comparing it to the Cuter Beauty Electric Obsessions and my first impressions with it and I've had a lot of fun playing with it. Let's show you the looks that I've created and I'll come back and tell you all my thoughts. Hello hello voice of a Prue here so going in with Ho or House of Edwards. This is going to be the neutral look that starts this whole thing. I really felt like this palette just was calling for neutral and I was wearing neutrals that day. It was a neutral mood. So I'm just blending Ho into my crease and then I'm using back rolls in my outer corner and just dabbing that in and blending it out. And underneath the eye. I thought it was quite funny she's got a shadow in this palette named back rolls and it's very Alyssa Edwards and this shadow blended out pretty well. I think Ho was a bit better though. And then using Inspire, this is the gold shimmer and I'm just patting, patting that all over my lid. Nothing too fancy here, this is a very simple look. Then I'm just fixing up those little bits and pieces, so a bit more of Inspire and then a little bit more of back rolls. And I'm going to duck off in a sec and chuck on some liner. I've put NYX Faux White and Linen on my waterline and Tarte Lash Paint on the lashes. I forgot to put anything on my inner corner, so just topping up with Inspire. And here is the full look. Damn, that red is banging. Anyway, second look. We're going straight into Dream It. This is a blue, obviously, as you can see. And it's probably one of the shades I had the most sort of trouble with. It just really wasn't doing what I wanted it to. I'd find I'd have to sort of pat it in, blend it out, pat it in, blend it out. Like, you know, exactly as you can see that I'm doing now. It got there in the end and it did build up quite nicely. And I was sort of going for that more winged out effect here. Then going into Believe, which is this dark purple, I'm putting this on my outer corner. I want to do something a little bit different on the, I don't know, to deepen it. And I thought this purple was really nice. It really built up really nicely and laid down exactly where I wanted it to. Then I'm just doing a little bit more blending and trying to get rid of any half, harsh edges. Going into Dream It, I'm putting that underneath my eye and blending it into Believe. Then Brick Road, this is a stunning yellow. And I'm just putting that on my inner corner because I love a banging one here. And then blending that yellow into the blue. And for the shimmer, we are going into Beyond, which is this beautiful pink, but it just wasn't doing the trick, so I spritz it with MAC Fix Plus. I'm sorry I didn't show that on the camera very well. Once it was wet though, -hoo -hoo, look at that shimmer bang color. I'm in love. And just patting it on, building it up. I think this shade may be my, one of my favorites, for sure. Anyway, we're off. I've put on Maybelline the Falsies Mascara. I'm using some drugstore. Fenty Fly Liner and Colourpop Liner in Punch. And here is the final look. I think it's alright. I like it. I do wish that blue, hmm, if I'd put more of the purple in the crease. Anyway, we're on to look number three. And we're using BBDC, Beyond Belief Dance Company, which is the name of the dance troupe that Alyssa Edwards runs. And I'm just blending that into my crease. It was probably a lot more muted than I thought. It is a pretty colour, but it's not the colour I expected it to be. Let me just blend it through. Then I'm using Believe, and I'm going to put that on my crease as well, and just blend it in. And this is where, to me, it got a bit muddy. But let me know what you think of what's going on in my eye right now. I think I do like the final result and where it goes, but they just like don't want to blend into each other. So I'm tapping, tapping, blend, 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 tapping, tapping, blend, blend, blend. And it was just a bit difficult. And then I've got my fluffy brush out and I'm fluffing them in together. Then using Beast, which is our black, and putting that in my outer corner. I really just wanted to see how this black performed and uh, I've used better. I've used better. You can just see it's a bit patchy. Anyway, I'm just trying to fix up what I've done. For some reason, I went quite low with that sideways triangle. 
I think I did a better job on the other side. That's the side I decided not to show you. And then I'm going to try something different here. Using headliner, which is the white, I decided to pat this all over my lid and then I'm going to put the shimmer on top. I was wondering if this could be like a faux cut crease. And then going into the purple called DDG or Drop Dead Gorgeous and just putting that on. This one actually didn't need any Fix Plus to have that impactful bang that I love in a shimmer. And it is a bit of a duochrome that you can't really see. Then I'm putting Inspire on my inner corner. We got some fallout, so I'm wiping that off, but it left marks behind, so a little bit of extra concealer and we're fixed. Brick Road, which is our yellow, and I'm putting this underneath my eye. I realized I hadn't seen how it sort of blended out and it was a bit more muted. And here is the final look. Everything on my face is listed below. And All right, I'm back wearing third look. Let me know what your favorite one was. I am sorry for the uh, more neutral one, but I feel like this palette really cools for it because it is quite neutral when you're in this little square. Let's talk about this palette. I believe it is a limited edition, which is a bit sad because I think it's quite a nice addition to the Anastasia Beverly Hills range. I do think it's a bit different from the other formulas that I've used. I think to me the shimmers, um, so the other palettes I have tried are the Anastasia Beverly Hills Novena and Subculture. I do think the shimmers in here are more tightly pressed. And this is probably the first palette that I sort of felt got like a bit muddy at times if you're mixing eyeshadows. Do I think you should buy this? Or let's talk about who I think should buy this. This is a great palette for a present, for someone you know who's getting into makeup and doesn't really know what they want to do and loves drag culture. This palette is going to make them very excited. I think its appeal is in the fact that you could make this an everyday palette having those neutral, pa neutral eyeshadows and it can also be a fun going out palette to play with. I do think the Anastasia Belly Hills pa like palettes in this with the pigmented shades being like Dream It, Believe, BBDC, I feel like I had the most trouble sort of building them up and I did find all the colourful eyeshadows in this palette are more buildable than Start With A Pigment and I feel like I've been a bit spoiled lately and not had to build up a lot of shadows that much whereas I found myself building these shadows up quite a lot to get what I wanted from them. It has three shimmers which with quite a bit of diversity through the shimmers that they are supplying with your gold shade, your purple and your pink. You can really create a nice variety of colorful looks with that. Let's just check on my checklist of things we talk about when I talk about eyeshadow palettes. Here is the list of things I'm looking at and things I'm going to talk to you about. So blendability, I would say like you still want to have to work for it, but it's not bad. The pigment, like I said, it's buildable. It doesn't start with a bang, which is a good learning palette. And I do think this is a good beginner's entry point palette, but that's mainly because it's an Alyssa Edwards palette and it's got that extra excitement for anyone who's a fan of Drag Race or Alyssa Edwards. The standout shades, I do actually really like DDG, which is Drop Dead Gorgeous. Thank you to my lovely subscriber who told me. I can't believe I didn't know that one. This looks really beautiful in the eye and I I just really love that shade. It, DGG is one of my favorite shades. It's just a shimmery purple, which I feel like I probably do have quite a bit. I probably have enough. Affordability, it's more expensive than your normal Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Oh, can you even still buy it? Okay, so I believe it's limited edition. I don't, I think Australia is sold out. Um, and it is $44 US compared to the usual $42 US dollars. And I'd say it's because it's a collaboration. So they do have to pay Alyssa Edwards, which you know, I'm mixed about. I feel like they should have kept it to the price because they're still quite expensive anyway. Packaging. I think it's loud and proud. The pink is pretty cool. I do wish the eyes had been... I don't know. I think I think this picture on the outside could have been better. I don't know what I would have done. And it does look cool. I can't fault them. It's got the lovely little... On the back, your signature. And this really is for probably your Alyssa Edwards fans. I'm glad they're finally moving away from the suede that just gets filth and looks gross after a while. But I mean, to be honest, it's a reasonable good nick for a subculture. I do appreciate the cardboard. I think, and I think when this came out, I did see pictures of people putting it on a black background and were like, oh, it's really boring. I also think if you were someone who bought the Riviera palette, there's absolutely no need for you to buy this. 
because the colour schemes are quite similar. Uh, not that I've ever played with Riviera, so I can't really talk. But I did watch Annette's Makeup Corner 10 looks with the Riviera palette. And yeah, wear time, it wears quite well. I think it holds up pretty well. The shimmers I do get a bit of fallout on application from and they are just a bit crumbly. Which is relatively standard, but they are not as crumbly as I've had per se in the Norvina palette. I don't know. The Norvina palette to me is much more delicate than this palette is. I think it's a nice palette. It's a fun one to have in my collection. I'm glad I've got it. I did buy it because I'm really into drag drag culture, like RuPaul's Drag Race and Alyssa Edwards. I don't think I would have bought it otherwise. And that's not always the best reason to buy an eyeshadow palette. I'm, I had a lot of fun playing with these looks. I am excited to start filming some more three looks, one palettes and really get to know my collection a lot better in the coming months. Anyway, uh, let me know if you got this palette, what you thought, what was your favorite look. Uh, if you're new here, I'd love it if you consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.